Hello everybody, my name is Molly and I'm doing my master's in dental public health in UCL. I'm going to give you a few tips on IELTS examination because if English isn't your first language and you've got brilliant academic documents but still not being able to get through your applications because language is holding you back, then here are a few cool tips from me. So you've got four sections, reading, writing, listening and speaking. So when it comes to reading, start with active reading. By active reading, I mean just quickly glance through the paragraphs and just look for the keywords and form a rough image in your mind as to what is being spoken about. Next, move on to the questions. And when you're reading the questions, you know which paragraph is being questioned about. So then you go back to that paragraph and start with your critical reading. By critical reading, I mean you need to read each and every word carefully because sometimes the answers are hidden in just one word. So make sure you read each and every word deeply and carefully. Now, moving on to the listening part. Listening part, I believe, is one of the most coding parts because the answers are being fed into your ears through the audio. So you need to be just really alert and concentrated in order to make sure you're writing down the correct answers. And believe me, listening is actually the most coding part. You can actually score an 8.5 in listening if, you, if only you manage to listen well. Then moving on to the writing part. The writing part has two sections. So in one, you've got to write essays. So when it comes down to essays, just manage to uh, write down a few good vocabulary words. And the other part, which is like the graph or the pie chart, is one of the easiest when it comes down to writing because the introduction and conclusion can be memorized from the handbook, which is given to you at the time of registration. And um, like that's how you manage your writing part. And if you do these, you'll manage to get a band of around at least seven in your writing. Last, speaking. So the examiner mostly tests for your confidence while you speak. Make sure you have the eye contact, you don't stammer and look confident enough while talking. And be brief, forms short sentences. That is all. Hope this helps. Thank you.